Okay, so you've seen the thumbnail. You know what this tutorial is about. This is just basically all the basics you need to make good block grass and blender. Got way painting for some paths. How to make a grass, stra grass strand. How to make a little landscape, just like the one in the thumbnail. So, yeah, let's get started with this video. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the default cube, obviously, and delete the lamp. And right, there's two ways to make a very simple landscape. The first one is to simply use the landscape add-on, add a landscape with this, but this is mainly for very big landscapes, you know, very big mountains and valley. We're just creating a little patch of grass. So just press shift A to add, or go up here to the add menu and add a plane here. And now press S5 to scale this up by five, and then go to edit mode by pressing tab and right click and subdivide multiple times five or six times depending on the power of your computer you know you could do it ridiculously high you could do it ridiculously low there will be quite a lot of vertices in this render so so you may have some performance troubles with low RAM PCs um so yeah just bear that in mind when making stuff so now all you need to do is go over to hit the modifiers tab right here click add modifier and down here the displace modifier go here and click a new texture and then go down here to the textures tab to check chessboard type thing and change the type from image to, or movie to clouds so it's really really funny little wavy thing and we need to make this more just like some you know rolling hills or bits of land so set the size up a bit something like that set it to two or whatever looks right to you this looks right to me looks pretty good so now we can get started on the particle system but for now i'm just going to hide that plane by pressing h and focus on a little tuft of grass so right now this is how we're going to do things we're going to add a particle system to spread little tufts of grass we're going to model out onto the plane we've just made so what we've got to do is model one blade of grass then Make hundreds of blade of gr grass make using an array modifier. Randomize the rotation and scale, and then we've and then we've got to spread it across our plane. So press Shift A and add another plane, which is R Y 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. So now we can just edit this and make it a just a little tuft of grass. So just tab to go into edit mode. Drag select the two top halves and press E to extrude. Z, Z to put it across the Z axis. E again, extrude it again. And yeah, just keep doing this. Sometimes you might want to scale it down a bit because that's generally how a piece of grass goes if you've ever been outside. You might have to edit it a bit because this is looking pretty weird right now. You can select each of these and press S to make them bigger or smaller. Something like that looks pretty good for me. Not too much and I might select the top half press o to enable proportional editing then press g to move it and then scroll outwards whilst pressing that to edit it proportionally just like that it's a little blade of grass in the wind so you can press tab to go out of edit mode right click and shade that smooth just to make it look a little bit better get rid of those sharp edges go to the modifiers here add a modifier and add an array modifier right now it's going downwards so we need to take the factor x off, change that to zero, and change either y or z to one. Enter, now it's doing this. So now this is basically just duplicating a piece of grass. So now we have to turn the count up a bit, change it to something like 10. Or yeah, whatever looks right to you. Eight looks good in this case. And so then, we can click on this little drop down here and duplicate this and then set it for the z-axis instead of a y-axis and just set that to one and now we're getting this funny thing here so it's an 8x8 so there's 64 pieces of grass here so now we can just go and apply each of these modifiers here just tab to go into edit mode press a to select it all and move the general middle of this to the middle of the cursor of its origin here this little I'm not sure if you can see it but there's this little dot here and that's the origin of this so when I tab out that is where everything rotates from so you just move it to the center of that just to make it a bit better and now you can press key to separate these and all into different objects and 
then click buy loose part and so now if we tab these are all separate little objects that's exactly what we need so select all of these and go up here to edit menu search and start typing in random and go to randomize transform here click this little drop down here before it disappears and set the rotation of y x and x to be a bit random see that's looking a bit more like a tuft of grass now so if we just randomize this a bit so this looks like a very random tuft of grass now you can even randomize the scale a bit you know make some bigger some shorter so just make it nice and random then you can click off this select all of these so if we select every single one of these we can press it join to press ctrl j to join them then we move them around it's all one object again so now we tab to go back into edit mode i like to do this just to make it look more like one tuft of grass this isn't a necessary step but just select the general bottom half press o to enable proportional editing and press s just to scale that in just to scale that in a bit just to make it look more like a tuft of grass that is basically all the modeling we'll need to do for this little tuft of grass I'm quickly going to give it some materials just so it looks better. Let me just set up my background. Okay, so I'm going to add some very simple materials. And I think the key to realistic grass is always in the materials. Because of something called subsurface. So add a new material here for your grass. Change base color, color to be obviously green. It could be a darkish green. Whatever you're going for. Then go to subsurface color here. And change that to a yellowish. Because when you shine a light through a blade of grass it can sometimes show up quite yellowish instead of greenish also a lot like skin which turns orange when you shine a light through it and then you just turn up the subsurface here a bit and it turns a bit yellowish and it also just turn up the transmission down here just by a tiny little bit and that's basically all the mod that's basically all the everything we need to do for stuff of grass so so now we can unhide our plane. Right, right here. Just so it's out of the way. Click on our plane here. I'm quickly going to just give it a brown colour just because mud is brown. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make it a very simple rough brown colour. And. So what, how do you use particle systems? You have to go down here to this little thing here. I'm not sure what that is. And this is the particle system. You press add and add a hair system. You see it grows loads of hair. That's exactly what we need. So what we need to do, we need to go down here to render. Render as. And we need to choose an object. And the object, the instance object, needs to be our grass, which is plain 43 right now. So now you see if I click off this, it's covered in grass. We'll have to tweak the materials a bit later. And you can turn on object rotation. And now we can rotate this grass. And now you see we can move our grass here see if it gives the effect we want so we, want it, we obviously want it to be facing upwards which it now is so that's working well we can go back to rend our rendered view now and we see that it's rendering quite well we can press h on our tuft of grass just to hide it and you see this is working quite well now this looks like grass i might just tweak the materials just a little bit add a bit more of a subsurface in it's getting very laggy i'm sorry for this but here we go this is our grass on our scene Another thing, this is basically the basic tutorial. Another thing you may want to do is choose where the grass is and where the grass is. And the way you do this is with weight painting. So what you do, you go down to this object data panel, this triangle here, add a vertex group, just leave this vertex group for now. Go back to your particle settings, here. go back to your particle settings and go down to vertex groups go for to density and add your group 
you've just made. And now I'm going to go to this mode so it's a little less laggy. You can go from object mode down to weight paint mode. And if you paint, it paints your grass on wherever you want it. So, this is extremely good just so you get it where you want it. And it fully randomizes your grass. And also, if I just paint in this whole thing quickly, you can set your weight up here to be zero. And now, what you're doing is you're taking the grass off. So if you want to carve a little path through your grass, you can do that this way. So if you go back to rendered view here, get off weight paint mode. We've got a little path through our grass now. So this is very good for environment creation. Just want to make this tutorial. This is the basic grass. A couple more grass assets in here. So all you have to do to say if we had like another sit um, I'm just going to model something quickly oh, off camera. Okay, so say you have this daisy, this very badly modelled daisy, and you wanted that to be on your grass as well. So all you need to do is get your two objects, press M to add them to a collection. Just click new collection and do this to be anything you want. Um, so now these are in a collection. All you need to do now is go back to your particle, particle setting of this object here. Go to render as this time collection, and your collection will be the collection you want it to be. You'll see now that there is also a ton of daisies in this field now. From far away, it looks good. That's the golden rule of CGI. From far, if it's from far away, it looks good. That's fine. And I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that you can. So what you can do is you can decide whether, and this is basically like a ratio. So if you take the count of your grass up, there'll be less daisies and more grass and vice versa. So now there's less daisies and more grass. And we can take this to extreme level till there's only like one or two daisies around. So yeah, this, this is the grass basics. If you liked it, Please subscribe. It's free and we haven't got many subscribers right now. I'd really like some more subscribers. And most of the people who actually watch these videos aren't subscribed. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.